have you, excuse me, have you RSVP for heaven? Yes, have you RSVP for heaven? Now, red carpet, now, you might be living on earth, but one day, Christian gonna be red carpet. And the reason why I say that Christian gonna be red carpet, because the Bible gonna say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Don't that sound like God gonna give us red carpet? My friend, that's why I tell people, I'm making all these videos to give you the opportunity to give your life to Jesus Christ. Because one day, you're gonna say, well done. One day you're going to say you have overcome. One day you're going to say, well done, my bride. My friend, you ever, you ever been married? Or, or, or if you experienced the marriage of life, when your, when your bride walked down the aisle and you see her, amen, in heaven, my friend, one day, we gonna be, we gonna be, we gonna see our bridegroom, and our bridegroom is Jesus Christ. Listen, don't be like the foolish virgins. The foolish virgins are, are those people that that go to church, and that's all they are. They're church goers. But be like those that are Christians. They just just don't go to church. They commit their life to Jesus Christ. So I'm telling you, have you RSVP for heaven? Now, the only way you are RSVP, you must be born again. The only way you are RSVP, you must be do our, our Romans uh, 10 and 9. Confess with your mouth. Believe in your heart. That God has raised you from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, if you're watching or listening to this video, have you RSVP? What does RSV stand for? Reserve for special, uh, 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 important people, very important people. And my friend, we are we are a royal priesthood. Amen. We are we are kings and queens. If we go, if we gonna judge the world, we might not but we don't judge nothing before it's time. We're gonna judge the world, we're gonna judge angels, that means that we're gonna judge Satan. So I'm gonna ask I'm to ask you the question, have you RSVP for heaven? If not, it's not too late. Why had a breath in your body? Why you have a knees? You can bow because I said every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So I'm saying this, my friend. What I'm saying, I'm saying that confess now and bow now. Because if not, you'll be bowing, and God will say, "Depart from me." Read Revelation the twentieth chapter. Amen. The twentieth chapter say that. That the, the great small will stand before God, and if your book, not, if your name not written in the book, you'll be cast in the lake of fire, which is a second death. But there's a there's a Matthew twenty fifth chapter say, those on the right the right hand, God will say, and hurt the kingdom, and then those on the left hand, those people that have been stingy, the Bible said. The least you've done is the least of these you've done it unto me. So I'm telling you, have you RSVP for heaven? Because one day, the Bible says, they that they the day the day, day gonna, the day in Christ gonna rise first, but they that remain should be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. The Bible says, comfort one another with these words. So I'm comforting you by telling you. That one day, one day, my friend, we going to to inherit the kingdom of God, my friend. The Bible says there gonna be no more death there. There'll be no more sorrow. There'll be no more nights, my friend. He say all things. The 
former things are passed away. And he's going to say, all things become new. So what are you saying, preacher? Have you, and it's not too late. See, salvation, you, you ain't going to work for salvation. It's a gift. See, the Muslim, they do arms to get to heaven. But Christian, you are saved through grace and it's not of yourself. That's why we can't boast. So my question to you is, have you RSVP for heaven? So, so have you ever, ever been to a, a party and they have a list of all the people that are on the RSVP? That means that they make a reservation. For the earth is a res reservation. While we live on our earth, we ought to make reservation for heaven. And every one of us have an opportunity. If you've been in an accident, you escaped the accident. It was time for you to make reservation. If you've been sick and you was healed, it was time for you to make reservation. If you had, if if you went to the doctor, and you've been sleeping around with everybody, and the doctor say we found nothing, you should have made a reservation. If you be, if you have a near death experience, you should have made a reservation. What am I saying to you once you watch me? If you've been drunk, come on now, and you made it over to another day, you should make a reservation. Amen. If you was living in in America or this world and didn't have coronavirus, or if you had it, you should make a reservation. Come on. If you've been sleeping back to again, if you've been sleeping with so many partners and you have an STD or disease, you should make reservation. What I'm saying, my friend, go to church. Don't mean you made a reservation. Carry a Bible. Don't mean you make a reservation. Shout and speak in the tongue. Don't make a reservation. That means you make a reservation. What make a reservation? Reservation is by you. Believing that Jesus Christ have died and rose again by you believing in Calvary, by believing the blood of Jesus Christ washes from our sins. The Bible says, He that believe and baptized shall be saved, he that believe and not shall be damned. So if you make a reservation, that means you're born again. If you make a reservation, that means that see you have changed. If you make a reservation, that means you're delivered. If you make a reservation, that means you're, you're enjoying Jesus. I'm, I'm saying to you, it's watching. It's time for you.